What if I'm left with no love at all? No love at all. Who's there? Mrs. Carter? Mrs. Carter doesn't live here. Mama, it's me. Mrs. Carter, it's John Levias from Eastside. I'm here with Mr. Clark. Cause time to we don't love now. A long time, Mrs. Carter. Please. Come in. No love at all. Uh, I've been meaning to come by and talk to you. Mind if I try and act civilized for a moment, offered you to a seat. Carter. I ran into Kanisha in the halls. I was talking about her grades. She says you don't want her around anymore. I don't expect your sympathy. If I ruin my life, I know that's my business to deal with that. It's been hard enough. When Kanisha was in the fifth grade, you were one of my most active parents. You were always at school helping out. Well, we I don't... don't mean to pry, Mrs. Carter, but Kanisha has a gift. She has that spark, and we have to look after her. Why would she think you wouldn't want her? I had Kanisha when I was 15. I didn't want no welfare, so I quit school, work, came home at night, didn't have no life. So when she was old enough to take care of herself, so I thought I ran out and I got one fast. Is that what you're doing now? I'm just not getting back on my feet, you know. As I get clean, I see myself for who I am. And I hate it. And I don't want her to see me like this no more. So when the people from the foster home came by, I thought it was the right thing to do. Why would I want to get rid of her? I love her more than myself. Carter, if we helped you find a job, a better place to live, would that help? Because frankly, I don't see Kanisha making it without you. Do you understand? 